Hi, this is Tyson with another SketchUp Skill Builder. This is a follow-up to our previous Skill Builder on creating patterns with components. We're going to do the same thing here, but go into a little more detail, so make sure you've watched the previous video first. I'm going to start in the way I did in the last video by creating a rectangle or square, and I'll make it 4 by 4 inches. And just as we did previously, select this, make it a component. But this time, instead of simply copying it around, I'm going to make one copy and then use the scale tool to mirror this. You can see here negative one. So I've created a mirrored copy of it. Now I'll move that back to the original, select both of those, and copy and mirror those as well. Now I'll select all four and make those a component. Now as we did previously, I'll go to a top view and turn perspective off. And now this larger or nested component, I will copy like we did before. So I'll create a grid of nine of these. Now because we have these components at two levels deep, need to edit one and then edit a second level deep. I'm going to use the eraser tool with the shift key to hide the edges. Now we're ready to edit. In this case, I do want to be able to see my hidden edges and I can do that by going to view hidden geometry and then it will show these hidden edges which means I can snap to them. And by creating that grid, we get a different sort of way to create these patterns. Now I have my hidden geometry set to a keyboard shortcut, so I can turn that on and off. But at this point, it's the same as our previous tutorial. We can create these and do some really interesting things with these components. So that's one more thing you might try, is to take and create a mirrored group of components and array those around. One final tip when you're doing this, let's say I'm editing and I want to be able to see the surrounding context a little better. I can go up to the window and view my model info and under components we have these two sliders. And you can see what happens as I adjust the slider for similar and the rest of the model. For now, the similar components are going to be what I need. So play with that as well. You could hide them completely, but this might be useful. So this is another way you could create patterns with SketchUp components. Give it a try.